food stuff is making them, that's what's making them simple, right? When the restaurants get them. So we're gonna start off by just adding our flour and then our salt and pepper, right? We just add that, get yourself a fork or a whisk, and I'm just gonna move this around like this. You just wanna get this blended. You know, uh, if you guys would like, you can add some of your lemon pepper seasoning here. You know what I mean? Uh, but if you just want them, I'm a, you know what? I'm kind of like conflicted when it comes to that. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't want them to be over the top. You just want these to be delicious. It's going to really be in that butter and your lemon pepper sauce there. So, this is what it should look like. You should be able to see the flakes in there from that, uh, from your, you know, from your black pepper. You know you hit it with that salt. Now, I'm going to show you the next thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take one of the flats. I'm going to drop the flat in here and I'm going to roll it around to make sure it's coated. And then when it's coated, I'm going to shake off. Look, this is key. You don't want to have a whole lot of, listen, you don't want nothing excessive on it, no excessive, uh, excess of flour on your wings. So, we just do them just like this, and we just put them right here. Now, I'm going to do another one. Take a drum mat, take a couple. A couple of these, a couple of flats. And I just want you to see. This is real important. So, once I got it coated, right, I bang it across this, on the side like this to shake off any excess. And then I just put it right here on my, you know, my cooling rack. And then we just repeat that process till we get them all done. Now I told you guys I'm gonna be doing my, uh, be using my deep fryer, right? So, make sure you got it all off. We put it there. Now I'm getting ready to dump as many as I can inside of this, you know, to speed it up. I'm not gonna take, you guys don't have to watch that, but you got the gist of it. Remember, shake off all of it. Put it there, and then you repeat. And then right here, you can see, it's just not a whole lot of, of excessive all-purpose flour. All right, so, got this one lined up, right? So you can see, all of them, they coated. I shook off all the excess flour, you know, and that seasoning. Now, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna look at this right here. I told you I'm gonna be using my deep fryer, right? So let me just go ahead and get this ready now. My temp is already up. We're using 350 degrees. Now, you guys can use whatever you want to as far as, you know, a pair of tongs or whatever. For myself, I'm just going to go ahead and line them like this. Now, here's where the trick is. A lot of people are going to ask me, like, how do you know when they're done? Give me a time and all of that. All I know is, and listen, you're, it won't be, you won't have no issues because we're going to put these actually inside of the uh, oven once these come out. So, it's going to take about five to seven minutes. But we're looking for color. We're looking for a nice golden brown in color. Now, I can load this up and drop them in there before I want to show you guys just how it is. So, now I'm going to go ahead, put it in. Right? Got them in. I'm going to put this lid on. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking for that golden brown color. So I'm going to set myself a timer for five minutes. Five to seven minutes, I'm going to achieve that color, and then we're going to take them out, and then we're going to repeat that process. After five minutes, I looked at it. I wanted to go a little bit further. I just went to seven minutes at that 350. Look. Look at that color right there. That's what you're looking for. Now you just want to go ahead and take these out, and you want to go ahead and just store them, you know, on your rack. They'll drip and do all of that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this process. As soon as I finish, you know, getting this whole rack complete, we're going to stick them in the oven. We're going to make our sauce, and we're going to have some magic. Okay, you can see, check it out right there. All of them nice and golden brown, right? So now we're getting ready to put them in the oven. We're going to set a timer for 10 minutes, then we're going to take them out. Meanwhile, what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and make our, you know, our sauce. All right, now we got everything melted. Everything is nice and hot, right? Now, I'm going to go ahead, take, a, you know, just a half of my lemon. I'm going to put my hand like this, and I'm going to use the, the slots in between my fingers, the spaces. That's to catch any, if I push out any seeds. So you just want to put some of the juice in there with it. Oh, yeah. When I tell you better than Wingstop, that's what I mean, y'all. Hey, listen, we're going to go just the extra mile with it. Okay, got the lemon juice in there and the melted butter. Now, remember our seasoning? Now we're going to sprinkle a little bit of it in and just give it a stir. This right here is what's going to do it, you guys. This right here, when I tell you, when you guys, you know, give it to your, your guests or you eat them for yourself or however you do it, you're going to find out. You know what? I, only way I want to know is down in the comment section below. You guys tell me. Now, that's a whole lot of butter, fresh lemon juice, you know, and lemon pepper seasoning, which we made ourselves, right? Don't forget, you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know. If you guys want to learn how to start making your own seasoning, now's the time. Let me know. And, uh, hey, we're going to go ahead. And again, remember, this is salt free. And this butter I use was salted, so this is the right blend. All right. Now, look, this is what they look like when they come out. Hey, tell me right there. That should be that fire. I want to eat one of these right now, but they're not complete. So now what you want to do is get yourself a bowl, right? We're going to get a bowl. And listen, they hot. They just come out of the oven. So we're just going to put a few of these in here. Because, look, we're getting ready to toss. And you want to toss them while they're hot. You know what I mean? That makes it, that butter just, you know, flow across each one of them. It gets real nice. All right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to take it like that. I'm just going to pour a little bit over the top. Just like you see here. Right? Now, now you can do them like how you see me doing them right here. You can do them like small batches, or you can do a whole lot. It really depends on your skills when it comes to tossing them. So, you see it like that? Now, this is what's going to send it over the edge. Now, you just want to get yourself one of these fine graters like this. Get your, you know, get your lemon. We're going to put a little zest on here. We're going to flip them again, but we're just going to move it around. And this right here, you can smell it. So, this is what's going to tell everybody, hey, when they smell it just right off the back, they're going to say, oh, somebody got some lemon pepper wings. Now, I'm just going to retoss them again, just so that, they, you know, some of that zest can get on all of them. You can see that butter. Look at that right there. This right here is that fire, folks. So now let's go ahead and put some on a plate, and let's go ahead and eat some of these. Now, go ahead, take a look at those right there. You can see the seasoning, you can see the butter, and you know we just hit it with that zest and the lemon juice inside of our, uh, our butter. That right there, if that's not Lemon Pepper Wings 101, then I don't know what it is. Tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below, and I just want to say, enjoy.
However, many people don't know that in China we have lots of different types of sweet and sour pork. And Tangsu Li Ji is one of them. It's a typical central or northern Chinese dish. In fact, it's really funny because I don't really see this dish much in Americanized or Europeanized Chinese restaurants. After we cut the meat into small stripes, we need to marinate it. What we need are three spoons of Chinese cooking wine. Also, we need a few pinches of salt and white pepper. Mix everything up and let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, add in one egg. And mix all the stripes with the egg. Now, prepare a bowl with enough cornstarch. And let every piece of meat be coated up with cornstarch. The reason why we use cornstarch instead of flour for frying is, cornstarch makes the meat more tender and it will give us very crunchy texture. Okay, as you can see that now we already have the pork all covered up with the cornstarch. Now we are ready to fry all of them. When the oil is all heated up, put in the slices one by one. When all the slices turn into light golden yellow color, get them out. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you how to make the sweet and sour sauce. Heat up some oil left from frying, adding a quarter cup of ketchup. Then we need two spoons of vinegar and two spoons of sugar. The proportion of the vinegar and sugar depends on whether you prefer the dish to be sourer or sweeter. Now, a very important step is we need to add in one quarter cup of water mixed up with one spoon of cornstarch. As you may have noticed, cornstarch is a fundamental ingredient in Chinese cooking. The function of cornstarch here is to make the sauce very shiny and a thicker texture. When the sauce thickens, put in the meat slices. And be sure to coat every piece of meat with a super beautiful sauce. Stir the dish for a few minutes and then let's take them out. And last, put on some white sesame seeds on the top of the dish for decoration.